China's current political model is straight out of George Orwell's 1984. Constant surveillance and a system of social credit where your every action is monitored and your ability to do any basic activities is dependent on a social score assigned to you by the party. All activity, all investment, all speech, all opinion, all everything is intended to be under the thumb of the state. The state does not recognize bounds of law or commitment, including commitments <coughs> to other countries. This Prime Minister has expressed admiration for China's so-called basic dictatorship, and his hand-picked ambassador led a company which was heavily dependent on contracts from Chinese state-owned companies. I wonder if Dominic Barton and our Prime Minister read 1984 during their childhood and thought, hey, this sounds like a great place to live. China's repressive political system is not what the Chinese people want. It is not what the people of other Asian and African nations want, even though citizens of other nations face the increasing imposition of Chinese government-backed actors on their countries. Orwellian authoritarianism is not what Canadians want. It is not what almost anyone wants. So we must stand together against this oppressive political model. And our party stands unapologetically for the advancement of freedom, democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. Here, here. This is in our interests and this is reflective of our values.